Shock index is the topic of our discussion today, which is an important indicator of the level of occult shock, especially in acute hemorrhage. It is defined as the ratio of heart rate to systolic blood pressure. Shock index is simple to use and has better predictive ability than other vital signs because it detects the acute changes in maternal cardiovascular system and acts as an early marker to predict the adverse outcomes. The shock index was proposed by Al Gore in 1967 as a question designed to improve the detection of severe circulatory collapse in the setting of hypovolemic medical patients. It has since been validated with a large retrospective studies to show that as compared to the standard vital signs in isolation, it is more sensitive in the prediction of developing hypotension, the need for massive transfusion, and the rates of post-intubation hypotension. Criticism of shock index has been that there are no prospective trials validating its use in clinical practice, limiting definitive conclusion that can be reached based on the current level of evidence. The role of shock index continues to function as another tool in the resuscitation of sick medical and trauma patients despite its current limitations. Shock index is calculated from a simple equation relating heart rate and systolic blood pressure. When the shock index is less than 0.6, it means there is no shock. In mild shock, the shock index is equal to or more than 6 to less than 1. If it is equal to or more than 1 to less than 1.4, it means it is moderate shock. In case of the severe shock, the shock index is equal to or more than 1.4. There may be variations of this scale. Some scales may list 0.5 to 0.7 as normal range. Higher values are more sensitive in the detection of occult shock, transfusion requirements and post-intubation hypotension than either vital signs in isolation. Shock index of more than 1 is predictive of elevated lactate and 28 days mortality. How to do early recognition of shock which means reduced tissue perfusion, especially in PPH in obstetric and gynecology. Shock index is important because changes in the vital signs appear late when there is more than 1000 mL of the blood loss. It is the ratio of heart rate to systolic blood pressure. In standard obstetric, it ranges from 0.7 to 0.9. In non-pregnant, it ranges from 0.5 to 0.7. When it is more than 0.9, it shows hemodynamic instability and increased mortality. When it is more than 1, the blood transfusion risk increases. Rule of 30 is also important to assess the level of shock. According to this rule, there is loss of 30% blood volume, means 70 ml per kg of adults and 100 ml per kg pregnant women. There is 30% fall in hematocrit, 30% fall in hemoglobin, 3 gram per deciliter, 30 millimeter of mercury fall in systolic blood pressure, 30 beats per minute rise in the pulse. As compared to the standard vital signs, FIGO recommends the use of shock index in the diagnosis and management of PPH. This figure also shows the normal shock index which is less than 0.7. Shock index of more than 1 is most specific predictor of hyperlactemia and 28 days mortality. This scale shows the normal range of 0.5 to 0.7 and it is elevated when it is more than or equal to 0.8. So, according to different scales, there might be different variations as well. Now, what is the role of shock index in ST segment elevation MI? A bedside clinical index is an easy tool for the risk assessment and assessing prognosis of ST segment elevation MI at the presentation. ST segment elevation MI patients with raised shock index are at increased risk of myocardial vascular changes and microvascular damage and associated with major adverse cardiac events. So for postmortem, um, postpartum monitoring of the blood loss, blood flow, uterine tone every 15 minutes documented on blood loss monitoring chart is done along with the blood pressure and pulse monitored once in the first hour postpartum. 
The trigger criteria for treatment include clinical judgment of blood loss of more than 500 ml or blood loss of more than 300 ml plus one abnormal observation. So thank you so much that was something about shock index subscribe on Obstetrics and Gynecology Allah Hafiz.